at Helicos, true single molecule sequencing has become a reality. Let's take a closer look at how it works. Sample preparation is simple and can be performed by a single person in less than a day in a tube or microplate. A DNA sample is cut into short strands of 100 to 200 nucleotides in length. A poly-A universal priming sequence is added to the three prime end of each DNA strand. And each strand is labeled with the addition of a fluorescent adenosine nucleotide. These labeled strands will serve as templates for the single molecule sequencing chemistry. The DNA strands are then hybridized to the helicose flow cell, which contains billions of oligo T universal capture sites that are immobilized onto the flow cell surface. Each individual template that hybridizes to the flow cell surface will generate its own sequencing reaction. Because the heliscope sequencer detects single molecules, the templates can be packed at a very high density, about 100 million templates per square centimeter, or billions per run. Once the samples have been hybridized to the flow cell surface, they are loaded into the instrument. A laser then illuminates the surface of the flow cell, showing the location of each fluorescently labeled template. A CCD camera produces a map of the templates on the flow cell surface. The instrument takes many images in a stepwise pattern across the flow cell. After the templates have been imaged, the template label is cleaved and washed away. The sequencing reaction begins by introducing a DNA polymerase and a fluorescently labeled nucleotide, in this case adenosine. The oligo T capture sites serve as sequencing primers for the TSMS process. DNA polymerase catalyzes the addition of the labeled adenosine to the primers in a template-directed manner. A wash step removes the polymerase and any unincorporated nucleotides. The billions of single molecule templates that have incorporated an A are then visualized by illuminating and imaging the entire flow cell surface. After imaging, a cleavage step removes the fluorescent labels. The process continues through each of the remaining bases, C, G, and T and repeats until the desired read length is achieved. Sequence information is collected with each new base addition, billions of strands at a time. Unlike amplification-based sequencing technologies, the TSMS process is asynchronous. Every strand is unique and sequenced independently.